Hey everyone as you know this is era of technology. And everything is changing day by day. You have listened about genetically modified cows. You must have heard about genetically modified sheep. But have you ever heard about genetically modified dogs? If yes, then do let us know in comments. Because today we will tell you amazing facts about genetically modified dogs. We will discuss whether they are helpful or a curse to society. So if you wanna know everything about such dogs and amazing facts that no one has ever told you stay with us. Secondly if you wanna know any type of fact about dogs. And if you are a pet lover or a dog lover make sure to subscribe our channel. Animal Freak WSK. So let's begin the video. Previously restricted to plants and microbes. Genetic alteration has recently entered the animal kingdom. Dogs have drawn a lot of interest among the many animals that have undergone genetic modification. Scientific research and testing have been conducted on these man's best friends to examine the potential advantages and dangers of genetic editing. In order to give a general overview of genetically modified dogs, this essay will cover their underlying technology, possible uses, moral dilemmas, and the requirement for responsible regulation. Understanding Genetic Modification in Dogs Genetic modification in dogs entails changing their genetic makeup by adding, deleting, or altering particular genes. The majority of the time, CRISPR Cas9, a groundbreaking gene editing tool that enables precise gene targeting and modification, is used in this process. Researchers may be able to produce animals with improved quality, increased illness resistance, or different physical looks by modifying the DNA of dogs. Potential uses for dogs with genetic modification. Health and disease resistance. Genetic engineering may make it possible to breed dogs who are less prone to health issues or certain hereditary disorders. Future dog populations' general health and well-being may be enhanced by locating and altering the genes responsible for prevalent canine diseases like hip dysplasia or cardiac problems. Working and service dogs. Through genetic alteration, working and service dogs' abilities could be improved. Dogs may become even more useful in duties like search and rescue operations, the detection of illegal drugs, or helping people with impairments if genes are added that increase intelligence, stamina, or sensory perception. Environmental adaptation. Given the persistent worries about climate change, genetic modification might help develop canines who are more resilient to the alterations in their environment. Dogs could thrive in many climates by introducing genes linked to heat tolerance or resistance to particular diseases, enhancing their survival and the general population's health. Ethics-related matters Animal welfare Detractors claim that genetically altering canines disrupts nature's order and calls into question the well-being of these creatures. Their general health and behavior may be impacted and unforeseen repercussions may arise from changing their genetic makeup. To protect the welfare of genetically modified dogs, ethical issues should be carefully examined. Safety and unexpected effects Genetic engineering is a complicated process, and altering an animal's DNA may have unintended effects. The stability and health of the changed canines and following generations may be jeopardized by unforeseen side effects either by the introduction of new genes or by the modification of existing ones. Genetically engineered canines may give rise to a number of societal, and cultural issues. Regulation and responsible use. Strict rules are required to ensure responsible use of this technology given the ethical and safety concerns related to genetic editing. To regulate the development, breeding, and ownership of genetically modified dogs, clear and strict regulations should be put in place. In order to create laws that strike a balance between technological breakthroughs and ethical considerations, collaboration between scientists, regulatory body, animal welfare organizations, and the general public is vital. Comparison with normal dogs It is crucial to understand that when the terms normal dogs and genetically modified dogs are used, they refer to different subgroups of the canine population. The term normal dog refers to a dog that has not undergone any purposeful genetic modifications, whereas genetically modified dogs are the product of deliberate genetic alterations performed by cutting-edge scientific techniques. The purpose of this note is to describe the key distinctions between genetically altered dogs and typical dogs, emphasizing important elements like genetic makeup, traits, and societal implications while acknowledging that the choice of which is best is personal and based on individual viewpoints. Dogs that have undergone genetic modification and typical dogs have differences in their genetic makeup, characteristics, and social effects. Normal dogs represent the natural diversity of the canine community whereas genetically modified dogs intentionally alter their genes to attain desired traits. The judgment of which is best is subjective. Important considerations include morality, personal preferences, and the dog's intended use. The societal setting and ethical ramifications must be taken into account. 
Conclusion There are several opportunities and difficulties in the field of genetic alteration in dogs. It's exciting to think about the potential advantages, like as disease resistance and enhanced productivity, but it's important to keep safety and ethical issues in mind as well. The future of genetically modified dogs must be navigated with open communication, thorough scientific investigation, and appropriate regulation. We can attempt to use genetic engineering to enhance the lives of both dogs and people while retaining respect by taking into account the well-being of animals and larger societal ramifications.